On this week's episode of Motivational Minutes, Eat Clean Bro founder Jamie Giovinazzo shares why he felt it was his humanitarian duty to donate meals to those in need during the onslaught of the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, listen, I'll give you a, an endorsement too right now because you just nailed it when you mentioned um, the charitable work you do, right? So great leaders all know that they have to have passion for what they do, of course, but empathy for others and you know, compassion for people in other situations who might not be doing as well as they might be at that time. And so that brings me to something that I read about you that during COVID, you were doing things to help families put food on their table, right? Yeah. And so I think that's the difference people should know. If they're making a decision about to go with a brand, you live the brand, you are authentic. And that's why I would say people should should patronize your business over a, a big brand name because you live you know, you, you, you live what you speak. So talk about what you did during COVID and sharing and helping families get through it. Ooh, I probably, probably donated over a quarter million dollars uh, during that crisis to just <clears throat> helping people get food. You know, I was giving away a lot of gift cards to like hairdressers, barbers, DJs, wedding DJs, events, people. Uh, if your business was shut down and you were having a tough time getting unemployment, which in New Jersey, most people were. So like the personal trainers, all like every single person who was in my network who was suffering bad, I, I helped some people with jobs, gave them, you know, free food. And, um, you know, yeah, like I said, probably about... Uh, over you know two hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of stuff to help my my community, and then everybody got like a bump in uh, like hazard pay. People who had to work during those times. Um. So paid my personal trainer up front. gave gave him like a wad of cash so he could uh he could survive. Um, just a lot of stuff like that, you know. And then a lot of my friends you know, who are doing good, specifically my famous friends are like, yo, how do we help? I want to donate here. I'm like, don't even worry about helping. Don't worry about donating. Call your barber, call your hairdresser, call your personal trainer, call like everybody whose life is totally, f just call them and just give them like pay up front for the next year or pay up front for two years. Like don't, you know, cause nobody wants to feel like a freeloader, but COVID was a really horrible time for a lot of industries. And, you know, I came up in the restaurant industry and I came up in the gym industry. So those two industries, like and all of my friends, down. all of my network, like, and then my landlord has a, 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 you know, we have a huge catering hall here. He does weddings. I mean, that poor guy, literally, I don't, I don't think made a dollar for like over a year. So, but the bills are still coming in. So right. the bills are coming in and you're and money's not coming in. So it was catastrophic. Um, all of the, uh, all like tons and tons of meals to hospitals, um, which I think it was the right thing to do. Um, you know, Absolutely. a lot of stuff for the nurses, you know, I felt really, felt like the nurses were in a really shitty spot with this. Like the, the pandemic kind of really fell on them. And, uh, so fed, fed, uh, fed them a lot. And, and I always just did what I, I always just did what I thought was right. Like, the, the leadership aspect of COVID, one of the things I did that I'm, I'm most proud of as a leader was I got in front of it. I think like I showed strong leadership during COVID because I pulled the staff out. I told them exactly what I thought was going to happen. I was off. I, I didn't think COVID was going to last two years. I thought it probably lasts like a few months, maybe. I was thinking six months. So I was saying like, this is probably going to be pretty for the next six months. And, uh, so we broke out all of um, basically everybody's like touch points and tried to keep everybody separated, tried to keep uh, just try to keep everybody safe, following CDC guidelines, making sure that we had groceries delivered indoors so that like, you know, employees could come to work. They didn't have to go to the grocery store. They had uh, supplies. We had supplies lined up here for the workers and um, just made everybody feel really appreciated. And, and what's crazy is as, as chaotic as those times were, it was, it was a really nice time as well inside because although the pandemic was going on and people were scared and people did get sick, 
everybody who came to work was just so grateful they had a job and they had an income and uh and they knew how important their job was you know we were feeding elderly people who can't leave their homes we're feeding a lot of people who um can't leave so during that lockdown we you know it was there was definitely some light in those dark times i i wish covid never happened but i think i did a really good job navigating it keeping my people engaged everybody felt safe we always went the extra mile and then for the community you know aside from all the people suffering getting straight gift cards to like help them through tough times we did do a lot for the first responders subscribe today for more inspiration on the go